Hey everybody, Mike McWilliams, Upstairs to the Right Music Channel. Before we get started today, take a quick look at this. Upstairs to the Right Music has released a new album with our in-house band Asinoki, titled Ants in the Pantry. Support this channel by going to bandcamp.com and buy your copy today. All right, a really quick little short one uh, this week. Uh, last week was a little long, so I decided to keep it short this week. Uh, I have been in the process of making a parts caster, actually a rebuild in this case, of this uh, early 2000 uh, Squire Affinity guitar. Uh, the body uh, came with a neck already, but I decided to use it on my other part caster, that one over there. And uh, I had to obtain another neck for this one, which I did. Unfortunately, it came without any of its hardwares. Uh, I had a couple of trees around, so I put those in. And now uh, I was in need of replacing the tuners, which is not a bad thing anyway, because uh, usually the tuners on these Affinity guitars are not the greatest usually. Uh, they could always bear a little upgrading, uh, but I want to do it on a budget. Of course, I want to try to keep the cost of this parts build as low as possible. So uh, what to do, what to do. There's a lot of different ways you can go about finding parts uh, when you're in that kind of situation. Uh, of course, there's Reverb, there's eBay, there's a lot of uh, different online resources that you can go to to try to find these parts. Uh, the cost will be relatively high if you buy it new, uh, certainly a lot less if you buy it used, uh, but still the prices on these kind of parts are really going up these days. They're not getting uh, any cheaper. Uh, which is probably one of the reasons why this one was stripped <laughs> for its parts. Somebody sold those separately. Uh, but that's okay. I got a package in the mail today from Temu. Uh, now, Temu is an online uh, kind of warehouse platform uh, that's based out of China that sells just about everything under the sun. If you can think of it, they probably have it. And I thought to myself, hey, you know what? Let me take a look at Temu and see if that may be a solution for some inexpensive parts like tuners and string trees and uh, maybe a little more exotic like a bridge or two. We'll see. We'll see how the tuners uh, that I ordered here uh, stand up first. Uh, but it may be a very low cost alternative uh, because I paid a total of uh, including shipping, what's free shipping on Temu, I paid a total of under 20 euros for what's inside this bag. And there's two items inside this bag that I need. So, without any further ado, let's rip her open and see what the first item is. Uh, the first item is actually this right here. Uh, this is for my work table. So when I'm working on guitars, I really needed a very pro uh, neck stand for my guitars. I saw this one uh, for about uh, seven euros. And I said to myself, you know what? Uh, for seven euros, I'll give it a shot. Uh, it's as advertised, uh, very firm, very solid, and uh, something that uh, I look forward to using when I'm working on my guitars. All right. And the last one here are the tuners. Uh, let's open it up and let's take a look. So these are the tuners. Let's see if we can get that in focus. These are the tuners that I ordered uh, from Temu. To be frank with you, uh, all the parts are here. So it's got everything I need in order to put them on. Uh, to be frank with you, uh, I don't see these as being any better, any worse than what was already on there, to be frank. Uh, we shall see in terms of the tuning stability, but as a stand weight wise, uh, quality wise, the way they feel, maybe a little bit better than what was on before, maybe a little bit better, uh, right here. Again, I paid, uh, I believe, uh, a nine euros or something like that for this, uh, 10 euros, uh, for a set of these. Uh, and they will go on this guitar and uh, will require probably uh, a little bit of work in order to get the hole to line up. That one doesn't quite line up, but that's okay. I didn't expect it to. Uh, but yeah, actually, uh, I'll do a little filling work here to fill in the holes that were there before. And with this on there, actually not bad. Actually, that, that works pretty well. 
and I'm, I'm happy with that. So, okay, uh, so that solved the problem for finding a set of tuners for this relatively inexpensively. So if you uh, haven't had the opportunity to take a look at Temu and you're working on a parts caster or parts casters uh, and you want to try again to find uh, good quality parts uh, but uh, really, really with a huge saving on it, this was a huge discount. Uh, again, you're not going to get these uh, of this quality anywhere other than Temu. Yeah, I got all the bushings and everything I need. Uh, outside of Tamu for this price and uh, actually the more that I hold this the more I look at it. I've had a lot of tuners in my hands and uh, this one looks right it looks good yeah it doesn't look cheap doesn't feel cheap so uh, an alternative uh, for you out there seeking parts for your parts casters out there is to take a look at Tamu. I did for the first time here and uh, I am not unhappy. I like the things that I got. Uh, really, I'm, I'm happy. I really, really needed one of these uh, real bad. Uh, the way that I was doing it sitting on uh, a couple of towels was not quite uh, happening. Uh, now I've got this and that, that's great. And uh, I've got the tuners. Again, all of this, uh, these two items uh, for my uh, guitar workshop. Uh, my parts station and the workbench uh, for under 20 euros with shipping. So you really can't beat that guys. I, I'm extremely happy with that. Uh, you can't go a little crazy with it. I understand. <laughs> Don't drink and order on Temu please. <laughs> or you'll get a box of stuff that you'll be like what the hell. <laughs> Um, but well worth taking a look at it really if you are seriously if you are building a parts caster and you're looking for inexpensive ways to get the job done especially on something like an older Squire Affinity you really don't want to sink a lot of money and they're great guitars uh, but you want to try to do any kind of rebuilding on this on the cheap if possible and as close to best quality of course that you can and I think this may be the solution for me I'm actually very satisfied it was shipped in a timely manner uh, if they're late on their shipping a due date they give you a store credit uh, and so uh, you really can't go wrong with these guys I'm sure there's videos out there warning you of the dangers of Temu uh, so far for a B2B kind of thing that we did uh, I'm happy I can't be uh, you know uh, in the complaining box at all I really can't complain about uh, the service and the quality of what I got out of Temu. So, uh, something to consider guys, if you're putting together a parts caster and you want to try to do it as inexpensively as possible, you might want to try to take a look at uh, this website Temu and see if you can find the bits and pieces that you're looking for. Uh, I can vouch for them so far. Uh, my order came through and I'm happy with it. Uh, so maybe you will be too. We shall see if you decide to go down this road. Anyway, uh, just a little piece of advice this week. Uh, nothing really deep. Uh, thank you so much for taking the time to watch today. If you liked what you saw, uh, why don't you hit the subscription button? This is a growing channel. Every day we're growing in subscribers. Uh, very happy to have you join in with that crowd. If you liked what you saw in today's contents, if it gave you a little bit of uh, a tip or help, uh, why don't you show your appreciation also by hitting the like button. Uh, that helps us a great deal as well. And until the next one, you guys take care. Bye-bye.